Criminal Mind is a show about a motley crew of incredibly f***able FBI agents who travel across the country analysing the behaviour of serial killers to decide where they're going to strike next and then shooting them. Carried by an ensemble cast of very f***able actors, including one Shamar Moore, a man the rest of the crew once convinced to don a green screen beard and then chase through the woods dressed like bears. Are those two separate occasions or did they happen at the same time? They happened on separate occasions, but they did happen and they happened to Shamar Moore while he was dressed as an FBI agent called Derek Morgan. And I just want to talk about the character of Derek Morgan for a moment because on Criminal Minds, like he's a fully rounded character with a backstory and everything, but on a lesser show that's not as well written, I, I feel he'd be relegated to like the muscle. Yeah, pretty much. Like, the, he, he has so much more depth and pathos on Criminal Minds and Shamar Moore is a fucking fantastic actor and all the scenes with him in are just amazing. Yeah, I think we talked about this, like you've t spent a lot of time on these videos talking about Bones and other like police- Bones! <laughs> Let's get bone lit! No. Yeah, Bones! No! Right, so this is now a Bones video. No. Right. So tell, them, uh, pe tell the people at home what Bones is while we're getting bone lit. Bones is a show that Carl gets way too excited about. <laughs> Why do I get excited about Bones? Just because it's so stupid. Stupid! Oh no, my gosh! It's not that. I love it because the concept of Bones is that every episode they find a skeleton. <laughs> and by the 14th season, it's like, how can there possibly be a skeleton in here? Like, one episode is a skeleton in a chocolate bar. I need to know where they're going to find a skeleton next. <laughs> and that show is terrible. And it again has an ensemble cast where every character in it is a caricature, including the main character, Bones. And it's one of those things as well where um, is it copaganda? Is that the phrase? Yeah, Where yeah. A lot of the things they do on Bones, like, are blatantly illegal and against people's rights, but they're showcased as being good or badass. Like, I think the most obvious example and one that's common in a lot of shows is um, suspect under hot lights in the interview room, and they say, I want a lawyer. And, it's pres and you see, like, the guy go, why do you want a lawyer? And it's like, no, for the instant the guy says that, shut the fuck up and get him a lawyer. And it's always presented, like, in Bones and shows of its ilk as, that person's guilty, why does he need a lawyer? It's like, because it's his fucking rights. Moving behind the scenes of Criminal Minds, though, and getting back to the character of Derek Morgan and his actor, Shamar Moore. Um, Shamar Moore is reportedly a lovely guy off set. Um, he's very amiable, very happy. He's always, like, you know, laughing and joking. But he is gullible. So gullible, in fact, that the crew very quickly realised, oh, this guy is super easy to play pranks on. And the pranks started small, but very, very quickly got out of hand. So how did they start? Well, they started like, quite quite simply with um, just telling Shamar Moore that there was a rat on set. And when I say they told him there was a rat on set, you probably imagine, like, you know, a rubber rat, maybe, like, you know, a fake rat on a string that they pulled across, maybe. Like, you know, it's a show that has a lot of special effects. Surely they've got, like, you know, some fake rats somewhere. No, it was a ball of electrical tape with a string on it. And they threw it at Shamar Moore, said, rat, he jumped up onto a table, dressed like a big buff FBI agent with a gun. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm not messing with that. And in Shamar Moore's defense, like, I'm from New York. They got some big ass rats. I don't mess with rats. Yes, they are a whole different species in New York. They're, they're way too big. They steal pizzas. They're way too big. And they raise like Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I mean, do you see that one, like pizza rat? Yeah. Is there though anything just like more terrifying than the idea of just a rat flying at you? Spider? Maybe. But the thing is that apparently he's not scared of so he is very scared of rats though, and that's what they kept doing to him. And it's conscious mammal that like once they realized, oh, he's that easy to fool. They are fooled him with everything from fake dogs to a fake bear. The bear one is amazing because during an episode in the woods, they dressed a crew member up like a bear, hid them behind a tree, and when they were filming the scene, told them to just sneak up behind Shamar Moore and then yelled at Shamar Moore, oh no, it's a bear. <laughs> and all I can think of is the scene, is it, Nisha, you'll know this one. What's the Nicolas Cage film where he dresses like a bear? Is that oh. Joey dressed like and he runs through the woods like that oh. <laughs> and he just knocks that person out. Wicker Man. Wicker Man, yeah. Uh, Nicholas Cage absolutely fucking sparks someone dressed as a bear. It's awesome. What is it? What's wrong, sister? Oh. What? Are you watching the scene? No, I was just looking. 
the, the picture is it's so <laughs> fake. And that's like the level of quality of the costume that um, uh, the people on Criminal Minds were no doubt wearing. My favourite bit is though, uh, is the relationship between him and, help me, Penelope. Yeah. On the show. And I found out um, him and it's, is it Kirsten Vagnas? Is it Kirsten Vang Vangsness? I can't say it right. Yeah, and I, I apologise to the actress because she's really good in that role. But they said that when she first turned up to film like, the pilot episode, her and Shamar Moore off camera were flirting with each other. Like, and she was like calling him like hot chocolate and he was calling her baby girl. And they got called into a sexual harassment meeting and throughout the meeting kept talking to each other like that. And then the next day, um, that actress, she got a letter and she was like, oh no, have I been fired? Have I been fired? Because it's like really things like, it's my resignation. No, it's a new script. And we've added all those lines into the script. Oh my God. So that relationship between those two characters was informed by their relationship off camera. <sighs> Go save some lives, baby. Okay. Yeah. All these people being like, oh man, I wish Jim and Pam got together in real life. No, no. we need a Garcia. <laughs> yeah, that's the one like, fuck that. Like, the real shit is like Penelope and um, Derek Morgan. <laughs> Garcia and Morgan forever. Fuck, yeah. So just that one. Because I think they have an episode where like she calls him up while there's like a supervisor over a show. And he's like, hey, baby girl. And he's like, you're an FBI agent, Derek. Talk like one. Bring it all the way back to like, you know, the start of this video. We need to talk about the green screen beard. So what is the green screen beard? Uh, well, it's one of the pranks they played on Shamar Moore, and I'd argue it's the most impressive prank just because of the time commitment it took. And it started when Shamar Moore came in for a new day of filming and he'd shaved. And all the people on set now said, oh, we can get him now because Derek Morgan normally has a goatee. And uh, the director went over to Shamar and said, um, I'm really sorry. Um, uh, but you shave, what the hell? I was like, yeah, it's a fresh day of filming, right? And no, we need to do pickup shots for the last episode. What? Yeah, you had a goatee and that was going to cause continuity issues. I was like, what do we do? Do we, do we wait? And he goes, no, no, don't worry. We can CGI a beard on. <gasps> and Shamar Moore was like, wait, what? You can't CGI a beard on. And then someone else from the special effects department came in. No, 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 you can. I heard there was a Tom Hanks movie where they did that. He goes, oh, Tom Hanks, he's a real actor. Yeah, that sounds all right, right. So they stick some green <laughs> fucking dots on his face. And he rocks up these fucking stupid green dots on his face. Oh, my God. And starts filming scenes with them on. Everybody was acting their butts off. And one of the crew members goes, oh, I did a movie with Tom Hanks. And we had to do that for his beard. Now, this is where I become dumb dumb Because I'm like, oh, Tom Hanks, Oscar winner. Well, if he had a beard and they had to do it, if Tom Hanks will do it, then I should do it. It gets just a little bit better because Shamar Moore, he, he's gullible, but he did think, hang on a second, there's no way you're going to be able to CGI a beard on using these green screen dots. No, 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 you can CGI a beard. And admittedly, yes, you can CGI a beard onto or off of someone's face. I would argue it's not a very good thing because the next picture I use in the article is the one everyone already knows what I've done, which is the <laughs> Superman weird monster lip. <laughs> Eventually, they thought, we can get him just a little bit more than this. <laughs> they went to Shaman and went, look, uh, the special effects guys say they're, they're not getting enough information from, from your beard. We, we need to add more green. So no. they got some tape and just made a goatee no. of CGI green screen tape and stuck it to his face and made him act out scenes that they weren't going to use for an episode. They were using film, using time for the production schedule to take the piss out of Shamar Moore. Oh my God. And the only reason they had to stop doing it is because like, the other actors in the scene could not handle how stupid he looked. And you actually have. Just a bit where he comes down and goes, Hey, baby girl, and he's got a green beard, and his cursed and just, just <laughs> she can't handle it. <laughs> oh. So, nearby Lulu, do you have any favourite moments from like cop shows? Because, like, you know from experience that I love some shitty cop shows. It's like, I love me some bones. Like, there's nothing I love more on an evening <laughs> than just getting a bit bonely. <laughs> Can you confirm that I love that show so much just because of like, ha like the uh, stupid 
like jargon they use. I think Bones, much like Friends, suffers from the fact that it was not supposed to be binged. Yes. So you don't realize how much they say the same thing every episode over and over again. And, part- and Carl's favorite, Carl's favorite by far, is the word particulates. Because they say it about four times an episode. They do. Four times an episode, they'll say. Did you find any particulates on the body? It's like, I didn't find any particulates, now. But while looking through the particulates, I did find particulates. And I, just that word just cracks me up. Because, and every time they say it, I just go. <laughs> and I turn up, and you're like, you're there. And you turn around, and you're on your And I turn the volume all the way up. And I'm like, particulates, particulates. You, like, oh, no. the, the worst one was one episode where they were like going through like sewers or something like that, sifting through all of it, and you just got this massive shit eating grin, and you're looking at me. I'm like, what? What is it? You're like, <laughs> he's looking for particulates. <laughs> particulates, Lulu. <laughs> particulates. You guys watch this man for <laughs> educational content. How do you feel about that? Particulate. He's great. So I love that show because they just have like a bit in it. Well, like, it's the main character, Bone, is played by Emily Deschanel. And they say, like, a thing is, oh, no, a family ran away, but we found your long-lost sister, and they bring in Zoe Deschanel. <laughs> they just bring her on, and she just doesn't act. And that show's so good, though, because when I'm watching it, like, they have a guy, like, her dad murders somebody, and her FBI best friend's like, it's okay, I'll let him go. That's right. Like, that show has, like, ungodly levels of plot armor. Like, some people think anime is bullshit. Like, Bones is I would, bullshit. I would watch a Bones anime. No. I need it. No, Carl. Get it in my... Get, I would inject that shit into my... I need the Bones. I need, like, every episode is just ten skeletons. That's what I was waiting for, because I think there is an episode where they find a box of skeletons, and I'm like, yes, multiple skeletons. They're doing it. The skeleton war starts now. 